This is Jake Rossman for Digital Trends. I am here at the Sands Expo of CES 2018 with James Parker of Electron Wheel. Um, it is a basically an electrified wheel that you can plug and play into most bikes now. Uh, and here at CES, they're releasing the 2.0 version of their, their wheel, which the original one came out in 2016, right. correct? So this one's launching here at CES. Uh, why don't you talk to me a little bit about the wheel, uh, what it can do for your bike uh, in terms of electrifying your ride, and what the differences are between the first iteration that you guys released and now what's here at CES. Yeah, absolutely. So this is our, our Gen 2 Electron wheel, all-in-one front wheel replacement. Allows you to convert your, your existing traditional bike that you already own and love into an e-bike bike in 30 seconds. So we have a 400 watt motor, 36 volt battery system, an array of smart sensors all inside the wheel that are going to work together to take you up to 20 miles an hour, uh, give you a range of up to 50 miles, and connect to our app for expanded functionality. 20 miles an hour, up to 50 miles of That's range, right. yep. and on the display, on the app on, that you, you'll see, uh, you can read out mile, miles per hour, how much battery life you have, and how much e-assist that you're looking for. And the cool thing that you also announced, too, is that you're integrating with Google Assistant, and likely, uh, maybe, hey, Siri, down the road. But you can ask it questions like, or ask it, can you, or tell, hey, Google, give me more assist. I want to get into the office faster because I'm late for my morning meeting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the idea is we're sort of taking the experience from the smart home or the connected car and bringing it to the bike. So you can sort of get all the feature set of, of the app, but not have to worry about having the dashboard on the handlebars. So you can kind of have the, the, the phone in your pocket or in your in your backpack, just have your headphones on and, you know, say, say things like, hey, Google, what's my battery status? Hey, Google, how fast am I riding? Or, you know, toggle between the different assist modes. So, yeah, we're really excited about that integration. So I did have the opportunity to demo this, and one of the things that I did notice right out of the gate, as soon as you get on the bike, and within about one or two revolutions, there's an immediate boost. You feel all 400 watts of that, that electric motor in there, which is very cool. It's just like, oh, you're going, it's, it's kind of heavy if you're just pushing it along, but as soon as that kicks in, uh, it's an immediate, you can immediately feel like the sensation of getting the e-assist, which is, which is what you're looking for in an e-assist and getting a little bit of extra help on your ride in or wherever you're headed on that day. So why don't you give me a little bit of the rundown on when this is going to be available to the, the public and what's the price point on the electro wheel 2.0. Yeah, definitely. So we are in pre-order right now on our website, electronwheel.com. Uh, we expect to ship in February. Uh, we're also going to be available through bestbuy.com and at select Best Buy locations, as well as some local and regional bike shops. Um, price point on the wheel is $7.99. Uh, so for some context, the average e-bike price in 2017 was over 1800 bucks. Yeah. So we're coming in at less, than, at less than half the average cost, delivering specs that are comparable to a two, three, four thousand dollar e-bike system. And so, yeah, definitely. I mean, we've, we've reviewed a handful of bikes that are in like the three to five thousand dollar range. So having the ability to get into the EV market or e-bike market for less than a thousand dollars is a pretty good deal. Um, and the way that the technology works too is it has a little connected device on the pedal. So as you're spinning it around, it can talk to the, the wheel itself and tell it when to, to kick in, correct? Yeah, exactly. So it's a, it's a fully pedal assist system. So there's no throttle on the handlebars. There's no wires. Basically, we have a, a wireless pedal sensor on the crank. So when you start to pedal, the motor's going to engage. When you stop, the motor stops. So it's a really intuitive riding experience. You almost forget that you have uh, an e-bike. You just feel like a much stronger rider. And again, it connects with, easily integrates with most bikes that are out on the market today. Um, thanks for joining us, James. I appreciate it. I'm Jake Rossman for Digital Trends. Stay tuned for more coverage of CES right here.